Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is a continuation of the uh, previous video about upscaling Comfy UI images. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a little trick to uh, add more details to your image before you upscale it to 4x. And uh, as you can see here, this is the difference in the workflow that I'm going to be showing you. So this is the normal upscaling that we did yesterday, which is fast and efficient. Uh, but this is a little slower, but it gives you much more details. As you can see here, like the image, uh, the ship here has more decorations in this one. Uh, the one on the right has more details. Uh, the lighting here is much more uh, refined. The waves are, you know, uh, much more detailed as well. Uh, also, the lighting here uh, has more light and uh, just uh, more detailed. And uh, if you compare both of them, there's just a little bit of difference. For example, this lightning here uh, disappeared. Uh, as you can see here, also, you get a little bit of rain showing in here, in this image. So overall, like uh, the details of the waves, the decorations of the ship uh, here, also on the deck, uh, it's more detailed, um, lighting on the side of the ship as well. So there's a lot of uh, more details on the image on the right here. So I'm going to show you the workflow that I'm using. And uh, today I'm going to be using the uh, control box. I, I really got addicted to it. So this is a free download at my coffee page. The link is in the description. Uh, so I've made this uh, to, you know, just organize all my workflow and control everything from one place. It's pretty useful. I'm using the AGI Excel model as usual. This is available for silver and uh, gold members. It's a really accurate uh, model that gives you really nice uh, images. The prompt uh, I created using ardeniusai.com. So let's create uh, an image here. So I just gave it cat and using prompt engineer as my AI expert. So the cat, let's generate an image of a cat and see how it goes. And as you can see here, uh, I've connected, there's a video uh, explaining what the control box does. Now you just connect the inputs here and the outputs, you connect them to the k-sampler. So I have one here and one here. So they're both connected to the outputs of the control box. So the first method uh, is upscaling the image that we took the output of the first k-sampler and upscaled the image by 1.5x using image to image. So upscale image by. So what this does, it takes the original image and just upscales it with all its details and blurs and distortion and everything. And, uh, you know, uh, unclear details. While the second method, you take the output of the first case sampler, as we can see here, and you input it into upscale latent by. So you take latent output and you take the latent output here, connect it to the input of the second case sampler, and we scale it by 1.5x, but in the latent space instead of the image space. So here you upscale in the image space so the, there is no difference between the original and the upscaled image. While in uh, when we upscale in the latent space, there will be a difference and uh, a very little difference. So if you're open to just little differences, then this method is really for you. Uh, make sure the second case sampler has a denoise of 0 0.35. You can play with this as you like to uh, increase or decrease the, uh, you know, the difference between the uh, images. And then we take the output here and we get the 1.5x latent upscale instead of the image upscale, which gives us more details. So 
1.5x latent upscale gives us this image on the right, which has uh, a lot more detail than the image on the left, as you can see, or decorations as we explained before. And then you take the output of the second case sampler here, we decode it and input it into the upscale image using model and for x ultra sharp we're using this model if uh, if you want to know how to do this just make sure to go to the previous video and i explain where to get this model how to install it and everything and how to use it in your workflow and here we have the 1.5x latent upscale plus the 4x upscale so the 1000 uh, 24 image is going to be 6144 pixels by 6144 pixels which we get uh, which results in this image here so as you can see we have a really nice image with more details and decorations and lighting and everything uh, more detailed waves uh, and much nicer image to uh, upscale uh, this the disadvantages of this method is that it's uh, slow so I'm using an 8 gigabyte uh, VRAM um, graphic card so it takes a while to generate the image so let's see the cat image how, how it's gonna look like I hope we get a, a nice image of a cat and let's see let's see the preview here first <laughs> Uh, the preview looks nice. There's a pond here and nice forest around it. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good output. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice, huh? So this is the uh, image to image upscale. And now we're going to get the more detailed one here. I already like this one. <laughs> So you got the butterflies flying here, you have a depth lighting, uh, yeah. So this uh, model, the AGI XL model, is, is definitely worth it. It saves me a lot of time. Uh, whatever, I, whatever prompt I have, it generates uh, pretty accurately and uh, saves a lot of time. As you can see, look at this. So we got really nice uh, difference here like the fur of the kitten here or the cat is much more detailed the eyes are much more detailed as well as you can see the eyes here are not very clear the eyes here are very nice butterflies added some more butterflies and they're more visible and also the water reflection and the depth is also more visible and uh, the tree here has more uh, you know like leaves and, and greenery on it so uh, you can see there's a pretty you know noticeable difference between this image and this image so I hope you uh, generate really good images out of it as you can see here so we got a really nice uh, upscale worth upscaling you know so I hope you like uh, this method. Uh, it's a little slower, as I said. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to visit the coffee page. Take a look at my coffee page. Uh, I post uh, some images there too. And I also have uh, started an NFT gallery uh, today. It's in the description uh, of the video as well. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for future videos.